All right, welcome to another video, my friends. For any of you that are new here, my name is Bijan, and I'm going to be briefly going over a trade recap here, talking about what I did, where I got in, where I got out, uh, things like that. Going to try and keep it short and sweet here. So I was trading Disney. Uh, I was trading calls. Calls mean you make money when the stock goes up. For any beginners here, um, you're going to notice that First of all, the total profit was a $3,300 profit, but you'll notice that it was like separated into two separate things here. Don't worry about that. Don't get too caught up on that or why that is. That We'll, we'll be here forever if I start getting all sidetracked with that and ramble about that idea. Um, I started in just to give a brief, brief idea about it. I initially was trading it with a current week expiration. Then I realized, wait a minute, this is something that I'm going to want to hold a little longer and not have to worry about the time decay. So... I went and did a kind of like I, I rolled it into another further week expiration, but not quite. I kind of tweaked with it a little, if you will. Um, anyways, I'll, I'll get into it and break it down for you guys here. Um, so long story short, just pretend even even if it confuses you, just think it was like a stock trade even. But we were trading options, which allows you to do a lot more with a lot less. Uh, so the total profit, 3300 Uh, again, it's going to look like a mess here, guys. I apologize. Um, usually when my trades are like this, I try not to make a YouTube video about it, but I was here sitting here updating the watch list and I realized, you know what, let me just make the YouTube video about it. I was kind of itching for it a little bit for lack of a better word, because I'm on those streaks where I say, okay, I'm not going to post my profits on Instagram again. Uh, and, and again, just in case anyone ever wonders why I do that, because every time I do that, I always get comments, people saying, Hey, come back to doing it. Come back to doing it. Uh, I'm not completely stopping that. It's just like, I don't want to be that guy that always has a screenshot of making money on his story every single day. You know what I mean? I don't like the kind of vibe that gives off. That's just not me. I don't feel, it just doesn't make me feel comfortable. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I might post maybe once a week or if like something really good happens or something really bad happens, you know, I try to keep it balanced. But anyways, long story short, since I'm on that wave, it kind of pressures me to make the YouTube video now. Uh, but anyways, I'm still a little tied up with moving and all that. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked here. All right, guys. So this, this is basically what happened. I had the current week expiration. I started in at 635. I don't remember exactly how many contracts I have here. If you want to count it out, you can. Um, I think it's 30, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I started in 30 contracts at 635. Then about a minute later at 636, I added in 15 more to a full-size position of, I believe, 45 contracts right there. If you want to calculate exactly, it was somewhere around 45, 40 to 50, let's say. Uh, anyways, that was like the kind of like the full size position there. And then about 10 minutes later, I sold 15 and bought 20. I sold 15 of the ones that I currently had and I bought 20 of the next week expiration. So it was kind of like a way of taking a little bit of profit while adding into the trade and rolling it out to a further expiration. Um, and, and that's pretty much that. Uh, let me go over and kind of keep you guys bouncing back and forth so I don't bore anyone here. So this is basically what happened. Right here is where I added in. I started in right here. I added in a few more right here. This is where I sold the 15. Then I added in the 20 right down here. This blue 20 that I added in was the next week expiration. Then I closed out the rest of the current week expiration right here. And I continued to hold the next week expiration because that was my plan. I wanted to hold this trade. This was something that was from the watch list as well. Uh, specifically said, we're going to enter it right at that 115 area. Look at where I entered it, right at the 115.12 area. And then I added in, like, right at, I, again, like right around the 115, guys. Come on, what are you going to kill me over 12 cents here? Um, anyways, so that was straight from the watch list. Anyways, before I get more sidetracked here, um, I don't even know where I was now. I sidetracked myself and I distracted myself. All I know is I was saying that right here is where I closed out the rest of the current week expiration and I held all of the next week expiration that I got. And this is where I closed those out. All 20 of them, I closed it out right at the 117.50 area. Uh, just to kind of bring it back to the orders here. This right here at the 702 and the 703 area, all this right here is basically where I closed the rest of the current week expiry. These expire on this week, this Friday, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, yes, and these are next Friday. So I close the rest of the current week out at 7.03, and then at 8.30 is when I closed out the entire trade of the next week expiry that I got. So I know it's a little bit confusing because I did a little bit of this, a little bit of that, uh, but I guess you can say to simplify it, this is basically what happened, you guys. I got in here, I added in here. I sold some here, I added in more here. I sold some here, sold the rest up here. At the end of the day, the outcome was income. You know what I mean? That's what I always say, as long as the outcome is income. I usually say that when I take a loss, but uh, I guess it applies when we're doing like a little bit of confusing trades too. And trust me, sometimes they get even a little more wild than this too. Um, those some, sometimes I'm just like, dude, it's not even going to be worth making a YouTube video. We'll be here for like 20 minutes. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, I usually try and do it for like my more simple trades or if I have time or anything like that. Uh, today I had the time. It's not more of a simple trade, but I said might as well. So anyways, that's pretty much that guys. Now, of course the trade went a lot higher. We could have made a lot more money. We made 3,300, which is a lot of money right there. I know to some people that's not a lot. I know there's some traders out there that are making like 30,000 a day or 300,000 a day. Um, you know, I'm, I, you know, I stick to my own thing. I keep it real. I, I'm not saying that they're not keeping it real, but I'm saying this is what works for me. If I try going out and jumping straight to 30,000 and $300,000 days, I'm going to end up hurting myself because I, that's just not how I was raised, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm making excuses here, uh, but it's just, I don't do well with losses when they start looking like $10,000 losses that just, that doesn't feel comfortable for me. You know what I mean? So plus again, not to ramble about, you know, where I come from, but like my mom made this much in a month, less than this much in a month. You get what I mean? And my parents were divorced. I live with my mom the majority of the time. You know what I'm saying? So like, this is, this is like, whoa, you know, and this is even growth for me, guys. I mean, you go back, you know, I, man, even like a year ago, I mean, I was still doing a lot. I'd have like $1,000, $2,000 trades, but not regularly, not every single day. And I'm not saying this happens every single day, but this is now my consistency at this point. I've gotten to this level uh, and I continue to slowly grow. I grow slowly, but surely because that's what works for me. Uh, as I grow in life as well, as I grow with money and spending and things like that, like I used to not be okay with spending money on certain things. Now I am. It, it's just a completely different thing, guys. I'm starting to get sidetracked and ramble about things that have absolutely nothing to do with this trade. And that's when people start to complain. So, you know, we try to keep everybody happy here. Um, and this is basically it. If I continue to hold it, like the plan said from the watch list even, because it was on the swing trade side too. That's why I switched over from a current week to a next week. I said, well, this is a swing trade technically as well. So let me, you know, get the further week out so that I can swing it if I need to. But obviously, you know, I made a decent move. I took the profit there. Um, obviously, everybody else that's on the watch list that's still holding it, you guys are killing it. I'm, I'm happy for you guys. Uh, but anyways, that's that's that. We're getting sidetracked. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. It was a $3,300 trade. Uh, for those of you that want to know how much the trade costs, you can do all the calculations here. But I mean, I'm pretty sure the trade costs like less than ten or 15000 total. Uh, but anyways, that's that. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys do want to sign up for the watch list that I was mentioning, you want to come join us there. Uh, I'll put the link in the description here. Um, and that's pretty much that, you know, you can find me on social media, who's Bijan T. I'll put links for that in the, in the description as well. And that's pretty much that guys. I hope you all have a rest of your, a great rest of your day. Great rest of your night. Like I say, I don't know where it is. Some people in other countries. So just have a great rest of your life and I'll talk to you guys soon.